Hi guys, today I'm going to do a short video on a bandsaw box trick. I'm not going to show you how to make a bandsaw box. There's lots of videos out there on that. But it's a little trick that I've learned that I do that makes it a little bit easier. Typically, you start with some kind of glue up. And you cut the back, after you glue on your template, if you're using a template, you cut your back off and then you work with what's left. And then you glue that back on later. Of course, it takes a lot of sanding to get out the bandsaw marks from cutting off that little bit on the back. So what I do, here's, here's what I'm working on now. What I do instead is when I do my glue up, I use some uh, quarter inch stock that I've had that's already smoothed out, probably uh, used it on the planer, cleaned it up on the planer. So I do my, my glue up and I, and, and I take this block and I go ahead and I've got my template on it and I cut out my drawer and then I sand it. And what I do then is I take a separate piece of wood, not cut off from the block, that's already smoothed out. And this, of course, is already smoothed out. And I glue it onto the back and that becomes part of my glue up. And that saves all that work sanding and cleaning up and flattening those surfaces to make them uh, make them so that glue really really tight and and then you're essentially left with the same thing with your your back on and your drawer the drawer of course you have to do the traditional way cut the front and back off take out your your drawer part and glue it back together and then uh, then you have it so I think that's a little easier. Here's one, another one just to glue up without the template on it or anything. And here's the back that I'm going to use. And after I cut out my drawer, I'll just glue this on. And, uh, and I find that a lot easier. Something else I do, there's generally two ways to create a bandsaw box. Two general sets of steps. A lot of guys, they, they do their glue up, put their template on, I don't know, I'm sorry, put their template on and then cut out the shape. And so when they cut the back off, they're cutting it off of the, the cutout. And I don't do that. What I like to do is do my glue up, get ready to you know, prepare my back piece. Then I'm gonna cut out my drawer. And after the drawer is all done, then I'll cut out the shape of my template. So I do that as a later step rather than up front. Again, it's just what I do. I find it a little easier. Uh, but the main thing is, is using a separate piece of wood for the back. That I really, really like. It just, I find it saves me a lot of, lot of work. So that's it. Short little video, little bandsaw box tip. I hope you liked it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you like my videos, Please subscribe and don't forget to, ring, to click on the little bell icon so you'll be sure to get notifications. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them and I'll get back to you. Thanks a lot.